Okay, here we go. Joe over here at Hobby Pros, and I got this uh, newly built eBay special here. Uh, it's a HJ Alien X Quadcopter. Uh, sometimes it's listed as uh, the newer, useful frame or whatever they call this thing. eBay special. About 22 bucks for the frame, the arms and the plates. And that's what you get for 22 bucks or so. Amazon has them too. And so, uh, so I'm trying to go cheap without going cheap. You know, usual story. I always regret going cheap. But this time I try to do a couple extra things. So anyway, here's what we got. I have uh, down here a Sunny Sky X2212-13 980, 980 kV motors all around. Uh, uh, what I like about them, just looking at them, I haven't used them much myself, but they have the nice flexible uh, wire, the uh, you know silicone wire, not that stiff stuff you get on those cheap, crappy old eight, nine dollar motors from China. Uh, those, those cheap ones got the solid hard wire, and if you bend them twice, they break, and then you're, you know, you're you're done. So anyway, that's what we got there. And I also like that it bolts on uh, black uh, props I got from Ready Made RC. I think these were the cheaper ones. They're three bucks, four bucks for two. You know, so six or eight bucks for all of them. I got another set that I, I think are a little stiffer. Uh, I paid like five something for two. So ten or eleven, twelve bucks for a set. Okay. Anyway, that's that. Uh, real quick, and and I picked up a couple other things I ordered from China. I got this uh, uh, flight board protector dealio here, uh, and this one came with black standoffs. I'm on this like black kick, so it's got black standoffs and black nylon screws, so it protects your board. Uh, supposedly, you know, in theory, you know, and and it looks kind of cool. It's kind of cool. It's round. It's got some neat cutouts there and whatnot. And I also picked up from the same place over there in China, land of China, these uh, uh, extended landing gears. And they're neat because they bolt on and there's a couple little plates in between the two plates that fit in the slots of the arms. A little aluminum spacer there. Uh, I just want to get it up off the ground a little. And this stuff was pretty cheap, like eight or nine bucks. I think these dumb landing gears, not that they're dumb, uh, they were a little pricey, like 14 bucks or something stupid. But they shipped for free from uh, uh, China. And uh, uh, and this guy, I, I should I should have wrote his name down. I keep saying this every time I make one of these videos. HJHG something. And I actually got them. I mean, they shipped fast, like six days, seven days, you know, uh, from Hong Kong over to here. Um, Northwest Indiana. I mean that that's good. Uh, anyway, uh, I also picked up for this build a uh, you know the HK HK board, uh, the 2.1.5 board. And you know most people know this. It's got the screen, which is nice, makes it easy to program. Uh, bolts right onto this frame. I there's no modifying. Everything bolt together, man. This thing went together nice, smooth as could be. Uh, enjoyable. I, I like building almost more than I like flying. So, uh, and and I got that board from a guy on eBay again. And, uh, but it was kind of cool because I got the board and the power distribution board and the ESCs all for like 70 bucks, 75 bucks, all four ESCs. I'll flip this over real quick. Uh, the ESCs. They were they were advertised as Afro 30 amp, you know Simon K Flash ESCs. Well, after I ordered them, I got to looking around, and these ESCs you can't tell, but they might be able to. But there's no uh, here right here where my hands at. There's no label on either side of it. Okay, so anyway, I got to thinking, man, is that really an Afro? Because there's no label that says Afro like you see in like the Hong Kong ones or the uh, I should say the Hobby Hobby King has them, and uh. So I started questioning, but it looks like all the uh, uh, 
little the uh, little ICs circuit boards or whatever those are little chips and the way the capacitor is placed and the color of the wiring and everything all look to be the same. I did a quick maiden on it and uh, it, everything's going to be working okay. So who knows what they really are but uh, you know time will tell I guess. So that's the basics of it right there. The, the board, the flight controller, what I've got onto it. Uh, I'm going to cut this video short and come back with a part two uh, real quick. Uh, Seems like my I'm using a Mobius cam, and I've been having trouble getting it to record more than six or seven minutes. So I'm going to cut this short, and I'm going to come right back or check out part two, and we'll go over the rest of it and a couple other things I did to it. So uh, check out part two, and we'll uh, catch you a little later. See you, bye.